Hi, I'm David with General Air. Welding 14 gauge aluminum can be tricky. Today we're going to show you some tips and tricks on cleaning, prepping, some machine setting, and torch manipulation to make it a lot easier. We're welding our 14 gauge aluminum today using a Miller Dynasty 280DX. We have the machine set on AC with the maximum amperage at 90 amps. I may not use all of that because I've got a foot control but I may use all of it when I'm tacking, so that's why I like to set it a little bit higher. Uh, my gas pre-flow is set on 0.3. Get some gas flowing just to help the arc initiate. Our post-flow is set on auto. And the two buttons I do mess with a lot when I'm welding thin aluminum is our AC balance control and our AC frequency control. The AC balance is set at 75% electrode negative, 25% electrode positive. And our AC frequency control is set at 400. That's the maximum frequency that this machine can run in. That's really gonna narrow our arc cone and help us control the puddle when we're welding this thin aluminum. Cleanliness while you're welding aluminum is very important. The aluminum I have today has some grease and some oil and some contaminants. So I'm going to clean it off with a mixture of phosphoric acids and some other deoxidizers. Those are going to make sure that we get all the hydrocarbons and grease or any of the uh, manufacturing leftovers that are stuck on the plate. Make sure to get those off. After we have our plate contaminants wiped off that phosphoric acid, we'll take out an aluminum uh, dedicated stainless steel wire brush. I personally keep this one under lock and key so it stays clean. And we're going to brush off the aluminum oxide, break it up on the surface of the aluminum. Aluminum oxide melts at about 3600 degrees where the aluminum underneath melts at 1300 degrees. So with this real thin plate it's really important to get that aluminum oxide because by the time you get enough arc energy to pierce through the aluminum oxide the aluminum underneath is vaporized. I've got my 14 gauge aluminum tacked. The tacks are slightly inset because I don't want to blow away the edge of my plate. I'll light up just after that tack and then I'll roll in and catch the edge of it and then complete my bead all the way to the end. The setup we were using today was a 1 16th 40-43 filler rod and a 1 16th 2% lanthanated tungsten with 100% argon. And as you can see here, I bit into that corner just a little bit more than I wanted to. Could have made that a little cleaner. And then I dip my filler metal maybe once an inch or so and just push that putt along. You don't want a lot of buildup uh, to keep it clean. At the end, I tapered down my amperage quite a lot. I was almost barely on the foot pedal just to give it that nice clean cap at the end. 